The fair traveler went to Baltimore to see Red Emma's bookstore and coffee house. Colin met us there and told the story of Red Emma's, promoting literacy is their goal. Listen to their innovative business model on how to do. We are here at Red Emma's bookstore and coffee house, and I'm going to let Colin present the project. Sure. Yeah. Uh, my name's Colin. I'm one of the founding members of the Red Emma's Worker Cooperative. Uh, as mentioned, we're a bookstore and a coffee house, and my primary focus has been on the bookstore. We have plenty of popular works. We have comic books, we have zines, we have art, we have books about music, etc. But we do try to keep the focus on marginalized um, aspects of those genres. We knew that, at least at that moment, that just selling singular books wasn't probably going to pay the bills and that was part of what we were trying to figure out is how can we simultaneously sort of have these social goals, have this social and cultural function while at the same time being able to make ends meet. We kind of had a vision of creating a more active social space that could also serve as a sort of headquarters for various aspects of the Baltimore uh, radical political and countercultural arts communities and draw more people in um, and provide a sort of institutional resource. Some people began to join the organization or who were in the organization got more interested in seeing sort of the whole chain of coffee production, manufacture, and sale and wanted to make sure that there was. Uh, sort of an eye towards justice at every level of that sort of circuit. And so that led to the development and incubation of Thread Coffee, which is the first cooperative that Red Emmys has incubated. Their valuable efforts have been recognized and they measure impact on their immediate community. They support other bookstores, participate at book festivals, and have a charity program Coffee for Later. How do they see it? We recognize that we're all sort of working towards this same end, which is sort of increasing, promoting literacy in the city, uh, promoting independent bookstores and sort of resources, and we try to keep that in mind as we engage with other businesses that are in the same line of business. There are businesses uh, that we can pay a living wage, that we can empower the workers uh, in a way that gives everyone control over the decision making and the scope and the concepts uh, driving the organization.